Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, look at this. Beer Olympics champion over here. Anyway, I just wanted to say before we head out to too many games that I have a new top 10 most wanted list. It's going to come up right here-ish. Some of these games were left over from the first most wanted list, like uh, Final Fantasy 2 and Street Fighter 2. And then a couple of these games were suggested by you guys, like Mega Man X and Super Mario Kart. A couple of these games I added myself, like Super Castlevania 4 and Earthbound. So I'm going to try and get as many of these games as I can at Too Many Games. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the episode because I'm going to pick up some of them. Hey guys, what a way to kick off the Too Many Games episode here. Just got done doing a whatnot stream, was live for three hours, sold 55 items. Here's what we sold and I'll give you the total. Check it out. Sold a ton of these NES games. I think all my PS1 stuff sold. Siren for the PS2, a GameCube game. Sold a 3DS lot. Just sold an absolute ton of stuff here. So that total now is up to $1,080 after selling all this stuff for 770 bucks on whatnot. That's after shipping, after fees, all that stuff. So we, we did it guys, we hit our $1,000 goal and we still have a bunch of stuff to sell. So let's see how high we can get it before we go to too many games. All right guys, we got another update here. Sold all this stuff to my good buddy Caden. We got Final Fantasy 12 Steel Book Edition, pretty sick, really nice quality on that. Shadow Hearts Covenant, that one's a pretty valuable game. Then we have the N64 console, also has two controllers and all the hookups with these two games. Sold it all to him for 150 bucks. After shipping and fees and all that stuff, I'll probably bring in about 130. That's gonna up our total to over $1,200 now. I'm super pumped, I can't wait for too many games. It's gonna be so much fun. Hey guys, had a pretty good weekend at garage selling, so I'll flip the camera around and show you what we got. All right, starting off at the first sale here, I had a couple NES games, two bucks a piece, American Gladiators. Marble Madness and Jaws. And then at the next sale I went to, they only had two GameCube games, but I was happy to pay their asking price on this one, which was $15 a piece, which I kind of thought was a weird price, but like I said, more than happy to pay that. Everything else that you're about to see came from one sale. So all these 3DS games here, this is actually a DS game, that's Hop. You know, all time DS, great. And then we have Ever Oasis, Kirby, Yokai Watch 2, Olaf's Quest, Harvest Moon 3D, and Yoshi's New Island, as well as this. I'm not gonna go through all these just because there's not a ton of like notable titles here. Obviously a lot of kids games, which you come to expect with a lot of DS stuff. Then we have these Wii games here, Super Mario Bros, Link, and Wii Sports. Then obviously we have Mario Kart, House of the Dead, GoldenEye, Smash Bros. We have Resident Evil, Darkside Chronicles, Wii Sports Resort, Epic Mickey. Also have a few GameCube games here, Donkey Konga, Harry Potter, Wrath of Cortex, and Soul Calibur 2. Moving over to PlayStation 2 stuff, Full Metal Alchemist and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, probably the most notable there. Just a couple PS4 games here, nothing too crazy. Uh, Donkey Kong Yo-Yo, which actually has candy in it. I'm not gonna eat it, so don't ask. A bunch of PS3 games here, some PS1 games as well. Again, nothing crazy. I was a little disappointed about NHL 99 until I saw that Crash Bandicoot was in there, and I was like, okay, that's cool. This game is sealed. It's only worth about 10 bucks or so sealed, so I guess it doesn't matter too much, but still pretty cool to find some sealed games at a garage sale. Decent PS3 lot here, though. A lot of Resident Evil games, Batman, Minecraft, The Last of Us, God of War collections, pretty cool. With those GameCube games, I also got uh, two bongos here, so that's cool I suppose if you like bongos and a ps3 controller which is probably going to my man Caden and then a fat ps2 which currently makes the fifth one that I have and I also got this switch controller which is pretty cool it's a power a I actually like these controllers quite a bit I'm gonna keep this one though because me and my daughter play the switch all the time and you can never have too many controllers I'm gonna clear the table and then I'll show you what I picked up on Saturday all right guys let's start it off over here I was actually going to pick up what I'm about about to show you but on my way there I saw another garage sale so I stopped and they had this on the lawn this ps3 marked for 
750, so it's a super slim. It came with the power cord, but did not come with an HDMI and no charger for the controller, unfortunately. And then it came with these six games. They charged a dollar a piece for the six games, so I ended up paying 1350 for all that, which is not too bad at all. Moving over here now, this is what I went there to pick up. All these PS2 games, the biggest ones being here at the top, we got Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, Draken, Draken, not sure how to pronounce that, and Manhunt. Actually, Liberty City Stories is a good one too. And then some Xbox 360 games, nothing too crazy there. You know, just like the normal 360 games that I feel like everybody finds all over the place. And then some original Xbox games here. We have Conquer, Live and Reloaded. This is cool, this is the first one I ever found at a garage sale. So yeah, paid 60 bucks for all this stuff, paid 230 for all that other stuff that I just cleared from the table. So yeah, I mean, a pretty, pretty crazy day. I ended up spending about $315 total so we can go ahead and subtract that from the current budget and yeah uh, let's see if we can get any of this stuff sold before too many games I'm actually about to go live right now on whatnot I know this doesn't help you guys out that are watching the video but this is gonna be my last whatnot stream before we go to too many games so yeah I'm excited to see how much we can get to get some Super Nintendo games at too many games all right guys just had another amazing whatnot stream if you were there thank you so much and and if you're not there, I'm selling games for super cheap. You should definitely be there if you're into buying video games. So I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and just pan over what I sold very quickly. So Donkey Konga, two sets of bongos, Smoke Gray N64 controller, Lynx crossbow training, all these games here, any of the ones that are stacked like this, Adventure of Link, Walking Dead games, bunch of Wii games, PS3, PS2, more NES, some 3DS games, PS4, some Wii games, OG Xbox games, there's a Conquer right there. Some Guitar Hero games, NES, some PS1, more NES, more NES, more NES. Mario Kart Double Dash, I think that game went for like 50 or something like that. Buffy is like a $25, $30 game or something like that. That one sold for like 14, I'm, I'm telling you guys. If you guys collect video games, definitely go check out the Whatnot because that's where the deals are. I got a big bunch of uh, Super Nintendo games here from, from Whatnot and I paid 165 bucks for everything you see here, all 19 games. So let's take a look at what we got. All right, at the top of the pile, we have Monopoly. And again, guys, nothing, there's not gonna be anything crazy in here, okay? But, you know, Whatnot is great for like dollar, $2 start for auctions. So got a lot of these for, you know, under $5 each. There's Zoop, Bassmasters, Classic, Pro Edition, Miss Pac-Man, Wheel of Fortune, NHL 94, Killer Instinct, Super bases loaded. This one I'd never heard of before. It's called Shanghai 2, Dragon's Eye, John Madden Football 93, Madden 94, Madden 95. We got D Force here, Ah Real Monsters, Sim City, Rise of the Robot. Again, never heard of that one before. Super R Type, Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And last, definitely not least, this one's the best one in the pile Illusion of Gaia. So pretty pumped about that. Uh, got all 19 of those games for 165 bucks on Whatnot. Definitely check it out and check us out on Whatnot too because we do a lot of the dollar, two dollar starts. If you don't see anything listed on there, still give us a follow and you'll be alerted when we have an auction. Hey guys, headed out to too many games soon here, but had to do a couple more pickups before we go. Let me show you what we got. All right, so here we got a PS2 console, controller, hookups. We got some PS1 games here, Fear Effect, Alien Trilogy, Siphon Filter. We have Tenchu and Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve is complete with the bonus disc, so that is a nice one to get. The PS2, we ended up getting Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, and we got Eternal Darkness. This 110 Super Nintendo games, so I'll make a video on that later probably, and a Nintendo GameCube. And I spent 200 bucks on all that. I'm probably going to take some of these, like Eternal Darkness and like Parasite Eve, probably take some of those like bigger titles to too many games with me, just to kind of see if I can get anything in trade for it. And maybe I'll just trade straight up for Super Nintendo games. Who knows? I also picked something else up. Let me get that on the table. All right guys, and on this lot, everything's super clean. These PS1 games here and all the PS2 games you see spent a hundred bucks on all of those Obviously the notables from this one would be Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and Family Guy probably the most expensive here Yeah, spent a hundred bucks for all that so 300 bucks total We can go ahead and subtract that from our current budget right here. Oh, we actually sold some stuff So I sold a PS2 lot which I'll show a picture of 
for 60 bucks. And then I also sold this PS4 lot right here for 150. So I guess really we're only down 90 bucks. What's up guys, we finally got to Philadelphia here. Dude, it's dark. It took forever to get here. Yeiser's here. We are drinking beers and we're going to the casino. We'll be at the convention tomorrow. All right, we got a chug off here between Cody and Yeiser, and Yeiser's not gonna spill a dime. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Clean, man, pretty clean. How you guys feel? Yeah. Gotta keep it pretty clean. I had a feeling I was gonna lose, but that was kind of too much stuff, but I'm <laughs> Our guys just played blackjack for an hour and I'm even, which is great because yesterday I did not do great at all. We're probably gonna go to Top Golf soon and then we'll be headed over to the video game convention. So you'll see some clips from that very shortly. This one sells like 20, 25 retail. Yeah, I mean, I can't come up that much more. How much, how much more you got? What do you think you need? Like Family Guy the video 150. game. Another 150? No, total 150. Oh, so we need like another 50? That one's sort of cheap. That one's sort of cheap, yeah. These are each, I think, like 20 or so. One more game. <laughs> All right. That one's really not working. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. So I just traded all that stuff for a Chrono Trigger. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, dude. All right guys, so as you just saw, I did a trade in for a Chrono Trigger. He had a pretty good price on it already, 200 bucks. I mean, that's a pretty good price for a convention. I saw a lot of Chrono Triggers going for 300, 350. Convention prices are crazy. So I traded in the PS2, Eternal Darkness, both PS2 games, actually three PS2 games, I think it was and you know some ps1 games i was able to hold on to parasite eve and that's gonna play a big part in another purchase in a little bit let's take a look at it here it's pretty nice like the label is really nice the cart is a little dirty but i think i'll be able to clean that up no problem at all
fucking money I have. But it's really clean. And I even That's clean it by hand. I, I spend like so much fun to make sure they're clean inside and out. How much would you do Earthbound if I traded in a Parasite Eve complete with bonus disc? I'm not really looking for more trade right now. No? Okay. But if you get both, I'll do 900. I can't do both. You can. You just don't want to. <laughs> they're really clean. It's hard to find them. Clean. You got a good point, man. He has a point. I'll say he has a point. I don't know if there's a good point. <laughs> Let me see your parasite. What do you value to that? Like 75, 80? Let me see. This clean's got the bonus disc, this too. What about 315 and this? Uh, I still gotta sell this. Hey. I'll do 350 in that. You guys ready? I did it. I did it. I grabbed Earthbound. It, as you saw in the video, guys, it was marked at 400 bucks. I ended up trading in Parasite Eve, which is about a $70 game or so, and he took 50 bucks off of it. I was happy to pay the 350. Going to the convention, I was thinking more than likely I'm going to have to pay about 400, 450 for an Earthbound at a convention. This thing is in really, really nice shape. No label damage whatsoever here. It just looks very, very clean. Very, very nice. I could not be happier. Earthbound was the game that I wanted to that I, that I had my target on, essentially. Like I said, could not be happier. He had a Wild Guns there for like 550, which I was just like, I don't understand how that's a thing. Earthbound, every other booth I went to was hovering around the 425, 450 mark. So he had it at 400. And like I said, with the trading, got it at 350. Very happy about that. But now I kind of want a Wild Guns. So after trading for Chrono Trigger and then paying 350 for Earthbound, our budget is now at $615.